Yeah, what's going on guys? You put video back on the Mad 17 and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a nice little lineup video and what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be showing you guys some nice budget lineups that you can do and get some pretty good uh get some good pretty good players and put together a pretty good team. So today it's actually going to be a vert/power slash run. I'm going to be doing different ones, so this isn't going to be the only one that I do. I'm also going to do defense. So this one's going to be offense and then I'll do defense to complete this team and then maybe I'll even play with this team a little bit. If you guys want to see that, definitely let me know because I think that'd be pretty cool. So I'll do this I'm going to do a vert power run and then on defense I'll put together a team they're all going to be budget teams ones that pretty much anyone can do as long as they have a little bit about a coin so the first thing we're going to go over is the offensive line um, this offensive line is very very good to be honest and it, they actually have some better stats than uh, than some elite players so I guess we'll start off with the left tackle who is vert there is no other lineman with vert uh, chemistry so your left tackle has to be vert you can you could definitely change it but this is uh you could definitely like I'm, I'm gonna give you guys different options but you guys can do it however you want but if you want the chemistries to match up then you're gonna have to follow how i did the chemistries or else you're not gonna have enough to get the boosts um so i guess the first guy would be i think it's is it Tremont williams trevon williams or trent williams that's what it is okay Wow, that was uh, that was stupid of me. So Trent Williams is uh, the first uh, is the first guy, and we actually have another guy down there is Veldher or whatever the hell his name is. Um, so between the two of them, they're both pretty decent. You can see uh, he's got 92. Trent Williams was 92 uh, pass block, so that's really really good. And um, I guess you could also get Brown, but I I don't think that his stats are that good. But really, these two are are like probably the best two you could pick from. I think uh, Ryan Clady is, is like horrible. These are the best you can pick from. Uh, so that's that's pretty much what it's going to look like. Jared, is it Jared? Jared Felher? I don't know any of their names. But he's got decent run block, decent strength, decent pass blocks, and uh, decent impact block. So he's pretty middle of the road for everything. But then Trent Williams has a very good pass block, a very good strength, and um, decent run block with decent impact block. So it's going to be completely up to you what you want. And he's way quicker. So I guess it's up to you, but I think Trent Williams is definitely the better option. I think he's going for a little bit more. But altogether, the offensive line is only about 10K, and that's if you even pick up the backups. It's a little bit over 10K, even if you pick up all the backups. And then we got Ramon Foster. I definitely think he's the best option. I didn't even give any other uh, possibilities because I think Ramon Foster is easily the best person that you could get for your coins. He's got good strength, very good run block, very good pass block, horrible impact blocking, but I don't think that really matters. Um, and he's got really bad speed, but I still think that he is the best option that you could do. If you want, maybe you could back him up with someone else. But I think as far as the chemistry, as far as that... Uh, that power run chemistry, I think he is the best guy for that option. I think he is the best power run. But you could definitely get like a zone blocking for underneath if you're going to be doing a pulling play. And then the next guy is going to be right here. That's John Sullivan, and he's pretty good too. He's got 83 strength. He's got 88 run block, which is ridiculous. 79 pass blocking, which is not that good, but I don't really think pass blocking matters. Impact block is 91. Awareness is 91, so you know he's going to be able to pick up the right guy. Um... So I definitely think that he's a pretty good pickup. He's six four two, which is nice. Um, so yeah, and then probably the the best uh, the best lineman. I know Trent Williams is a higher overall, but this is probably the best one out of all of them. He's pretty expensive too. I think he's going for about three k, something like that. But there's another option for him. That's David DeCastro. But uh, they're actually pretty similar too. But it, it, it's going to be up to whatever you want. Um, so Kevin Zettler, he's got 88 strength, 89 run block, 85 pass block, and 84 impact. And then over here with David Castro, the second option, who's also an inch taller, by the way, and one less cap hit. Uh, he's got 90 strength, 85 run block, 86 pass block, 82 impact. But they both uh, have 62 speed. Their stamina is pretty, pretty close. So they really are almost the same guy. It's just, uh, I, I mean, they're the same chemistry too. So, But it's completely up to you with what you want. I prefer to have higher run blocks, so that's why I went with the Zeitler. But I still have the backup. Like I said, this whole offensive line is slightly over 10K, even with all the backups. And then we got Phil Lodeholt. And we also have another option just in case, because Lodeholt has bad pass blocking. So you guys can see uh, 92 strength, 90 run block, 78 pass block, which is kind of weak. Impact block of 80 and very slow. And then over here on the other side, we got Sebastian Balmer. And, um, or Volmer, I'm sorry. He's got 91 strength, 84 run block, 80 pass block, and 87 impact. And he's way quicker, like eons quicker. So he's a pretty good option. And then also, Streif is pretty good, but I didn't even put him in there because I didn't really include it. Um, but he's pretty good as well. He's got 81 pass, uh, 86 run block, 
uh, 88 strength. He's super slow, but if you if you're like super pressed for coins, I guess he's a good go-to guy. But he's zone run, so I wouldn't recommend it. Um, but that that is an option because he is pretty good for only being like a 70 overall. Um, and that's the offensive line. And like I said, the offensive line is literally barely over 10K with all the backups. And if you're only going to get one of all the linemen and not have any backups, then you're going to be right at 10K. All right, guys, next we're going to do the tight ends and fullback. So uh, I'll give you guys two options for tight ends. It's going to be Jordan Reed and Ozzie Newsom. There are other people as well with this chemistry for Vert, but I definitely think that these two are going to be your best option. Uh, Jordan Reed... Uh, I guess he's he's got better route running and better catching stats, but not by much with some things, but we'll go over that in a second. So Jordan Reed, comparatively, let's actually just compare them all together. So they're very, very close. You can see one, one plus speed for Jordan Reed. Ozzie Newsom is way stronger and way better at run block. But Jordan Reed does have the slight advantage over catching, a little bit of an advantage over release, better route running. He's got worse catch in traffic, but better spectacular catch. So these two are both very, very good, and technically you could just pick them both up because together they're a pretty good one-two combination. You know, you can sub Ozzy Newsom in whenever you're run blocking, and then if Jordan Reed is tired, you can also use him for catching because his catching stats really aren't that bad. And they're both verts, so they're both going to get the overall increase and some stats increase. So I would do Jordan Reed as your starter, and then if you want to run the ball, throw in Newsom. And even you could use Newsom if Jordan Reed is tired because, like I said, he's got some decent catching stats. Jordan Reed 6'3", Ozzy Newsom is 6'2". So they, they're going to do uh, pretty well together. They can both pretty much do the same thing, except for Ozzie Newsom is going to be able to block way better. And Jordan Reed is going to be able to run a little bit better route. Um, as far as... So that's actually what it's affecting right now. Uh, and then I think Excel. Yeah, Excel, they're also very, very close. Um, so yeah, yeah, pretty close players. So I think those are going to be your best bets right there. Ozzie Newsom is a little bit more expensive. Actually, I think he's exactly double the price of Jordan Reed. But Jordan Reed is only going for like 1,100 coins, and Ozzy Newsom is going for like 2024 20, or something like that. So those are those are probably your best two tight end options. You could uh, put whoever you want first. It, that's up to you. I don't, I don't really know. But those two are both pretty good. And then as far as fullback, you really only have one option, and that's going to be Max Strong. And actually, he is pretty good. He's go he's pretty expensive though. He's going for about 4K. Um, I actually have two of them. Uh, but he's going for about 4k, but he is pretty good at least. He's got decent catching at 68, so he's got at least going to be able to make a catch out of the backfield. 80 carrying, which is kind of weak, but he's got 82 trucking, which is nice. He's going to be able to knock at least one person over, and he's 6 foot, which is cool. 78 speed is a little bit on the slower side, but he does have 83 run block, which is nice as well. And what I also want to check is, because uh, I forgot to check it, would be his uh, impact block. What is that? Uh, so he's got decent pass block, really good run block, and then, I don't know where impact block is, 85 impact block, that's actually really, really good. So 85 impact block, and that's obviously not going to be as good as Patrick DeMarco, because Patrick DeMarco is ridiculous, but 85 run block, or uh, impact block, is definitely very, very good. So that's going to be your tight end and your fullback options. If you like to run the ball with your fullback, I would probably just sub in Ozzie Newsom or even Jordan Reed either way. Just use Max Strong, really for... Um, for running situations or whenever you're trying to get a lead block. But even then, I would probably use Ozzie Newsom as a lead block kind of guy because he's way quicker. Um, so, yeah. Next, we're going to get into the quarterback options. Quarterbacks, you have four options, even though I can only fit three here. So, the first guy is going to be Andy Dalton. And Andy Dalton is actually very, very good, to be completely honest. He's got decent speed at 74. Um, he's got 86 awareness, 86 throw power, which is on the better side, to be honest, out of these gold cards. 88 throw accuracy short, that's good. 88 mid, that's good. And 83 deep is good. As far as play action, horrible. And throw on the run, horrible. But there's not really much you could do about that. This is a budget team. They're not going to be very good at everything. But he does have decent speed and the ability to at least leave the pocket. And at least make an accurate throw. Um, next would be Tony Romo. Tony Romo is almost the same card as Dalton. He's a little bit more accurate all around. Has less throw power and less speed. But you guys can see... They're, they're pretty close as far as accuracy stats. Um, it's just Andy Dalton has better speed and better uh, throw power. So that's going to be up to you. That's These are the two most similar cards. Andy Dalton just has an advantage over speed. Tony Romo has a... Or, uh, I'm sorry. Andy, Andy Dalton has an advantage over speed and power. And Tony Romo has a little bit of advantage over accuracy and then the play action and throw on the run. So that's what that is all about. 
and then we have Matt Ryan, and Matt Ryan is is kind of middle of the road where he's got D's, he's got more speed than Tony Romo. Uh, he's not as accurate though, so he's kind of like in the middle of them both. Where if you want someone who's got a little bit more speed than Tony Romo, um, a little bit more throw power or something like you know what I mean. So this this would be your guy for that. Where if you want play action and throw on the run, I'm sorry if if you really just play action because uh, Andy Dalton is better throwing the run. But if you're if you need that play action, then Matt Ryan's going to be your guy. If you also want a little bit of speed, and then I guess then you got Derek Carr. Derek Carr is going to be your third option, and he's got miles better throw power and miles better speed than all of them. But his accuracy stats are to suffer. He's got 83 short, 83 mid, and 78 deep. And honestly, it's not really that bad. I used the gold Marcus Mariota for like a couple for a drive actually in one of my most recent games. And he's got 84 short and 81 mid. And he didn't overthrow for me once. So I definitely think that Derek Carr has potential. And he's gonna be able to at least make some decent throws. And he's got 80 speed, which is pretty, pretty good. Um and you got to keep in mind that you have to be using a vert quarterback. I know there are definitely better quarterback options. I think Tyrod Taylor is better. I would rather use Tyrod Taylor, or even, uh, even like I said, um, Mariota. I think Mariota is pretty good. Uh, but unfortunately, you got to use the vert chemistry because I think the vert chemistry is really going to help out your receivers. Um, and they're all actually none of them are going for more than three k. I believe the most expensive one is Andy Dalton, and I think I picked him up for like twenty two, but I just didn't feel like waiting. Um, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, Andy Dalton is the most expensive, and then uh, Tony Romo, then Derek Carr, then actually Matt Ryan. Um, but yeah, those are your four options of quarterback, and they're all pretty, pretty good, to be honest. So now let's go ahead and do the running backs and receiving core. All right, guys, now at the running back position, actually, we have another one that I forgot to put in, too, and that is, where is he at? Where is he at? I think he's a 77. There he is, Zeke. So, um, so here are your options at running back. You got David Johnson. Uh, I would definitely pick up David Johnson no matter what. The, the backup is what's going to be in the air. But David Johnson is going to be your starting running back. He's the power run running back. And he's miles better than anyone. He's better than some elite cards, to be completely honest. At 89 speed, 85 trucking. 84 carrying is weak, but he doesn't really fumble, to be honest. 89 ball carrier vision is very good because he's able to get between tackles. 88 excel is good at 6-1, and he's able to catch the ball with 68 catching so this is definitely your go-to guy he's very very good he is your go-to running back without a doubt and then backing him up would be tevin coleman i think tevin coleman can pick up anything that david johnson can do and maybe even do it better um as tevin coleman has better speed actually better excel he's got better carrying and better agility but david johnson is going to be beat him got to beat him in ball carrier uh vision and i like ball carrier vision a lot elusiveness and juke move i think ball carrier vision is a lot more important this year than it was any other year um but yeah and also tevin coleman also was better uh he's got better um, blocking stats and he's got uh, better catching so what I would do is I would put Tevin Coleman as my third down running back if you're gonna use Tevin Coleman and then if not then you got Ezekiel Elliott so really David Johnson's going for around 1k Tevin Coleman's going for around 2k Ezekiel Elliott's going for around 1k um, so that's really what's going on with that and then actually my third down running back like I said I put Tevin Coleman there because he's got the better receiving stats he's got better carrying I think Tevin Coleman is definitely the go-to guy for your third down running back and honestly the three other running backs together aren't even worth 5k so i would just pick up all three of them and just have them back each other up david johnson then probably coleman and then probably ezekiel elliott just in case anyone gets really tired or possibly injured i don't even know but just ezekiel elliott he's pretty good himself as well we'll go actually go over his stats too and compare him to david johnson because he compares more to david johnson other than the trucking uh so he's got oh that's wrong david johnson wrong david johnson okay so he's got the same speed. He's got better agility, which is good. Agility is kind of important, date, which David Johnson really lacks in. Um, but David Johnson does have the trucking advantage. So they got the same carrying, same ball carrier vision. Very close to the same juke move. He, Ezekiel Elliott has better elusiveness. And then David Johnson blows him out in trucking. So they are very, very similar backs. But David Johnson definitely has the edge over him, I would say. And then next would be the receiving core, which there's a few options. But I'm going to be showing you guys probably the best receiving core receiving core which i'm very proud about this receiving core is very very solid actually for being an all gold team um so first off oh there's julio jones boy um so first off we got emmanuel sanders and uh demarius thomas who are definitely going to be your best two receivers emmanuel sanders with 88 speed actually let's just compare them 
because um, they are very similar as well. So uh, Emmanuel Sanders, 88 speed. Demarius Thomas, 87. And then 89 catching for Emmanuel Sanders, which is just ridiculous. Demarius Thomas is 82, but he's going to make up for it with his other stats. And to be honest, uh, they kind of fix it so you don't really drop open balls anymore. And I'm sure some of you guys are going to freak out. Uh, really, I think the worst problem is your tight ends and your running backs drop passes. I think they kind of fix it so wide receivers don't do it nearly as bad as they used to, but it's really the tight ends and the running backs you got to be careful of. Manuel Sanders has a little bit of a better spec catch, um, but I think Demarius Thomas just doesn't get his boost right here. Uh, Demarius Thomas is the better release, and they got very similar route running, but Emmanuel Sanders is a little bit better. Demarius Thomas is going to have better catching, big catching traffic and better jumping, but they are very, very similar all in all. You got to keep in mind Demarius Thomas isn't going to have his boost, and Demarius Thomas is 6'3", as opposed to Emmanuel Sanders only being 5'11". And then you got Sammy Watkins. Actually, the person in the slot that I think is the best slot is John Brown with 90 speed, 87 catching, which I think is very good. 87 elusiveness, which is good. Spec catch, the 87. Kind of bad release, only 73, but he's got 87 route running to make up for it. 82 catch and traffic, which is kind of weak. And then 87 uh, jumping. And he is a little small, too. He's on the smaller side at 5'11 as well with Emmanuel Sanders. And then I would say you got Sammy Watkins. Uh, let's actually back out of here so I can show you guys. Um, so then after that, you got actually Amari Cooper is who I have next. And Amari Cooper is pretty good as well. He's lacking in catching a little bit at 79, which is kind of weak. But he does have great speed at 88 speed. 79 catching, which like, like I said is weak. 85 elusiveness, which is good. 90 spec catch, which is very good. 81 release. 84 route running. 86 catch in traffic, which is pretty good for this team. And 83 jumping. Um, so he's a pretty good, pretty solid receiver himself. And then we got Sammy Watkins. Sammy Watkins has a very impressive 88 speed with an 84 catch, 89 elusiveness with 92 spec catch, 85 release, 83 route running, 84 catch and traffic, and 84 jumps. So Sammy Watkins is also a very, very good go-to guy. To be honest, if Demarius, Th if Demarius Thomas is getting locked up, I would probably put Sammy Watkins up there and then bench him. But for all of this receiving core, I believe the receiving core is around 8.6 thousand for all of them so that's very very cheap and then finally we got malcolm floyd and malcolm floyd is also a very good receiver a 6-3 so this is really your jump ball guy 6-3 with 85 speed 84 catching 67 elusiveness 91 spec catch 84 release 84 route running 85 catch and traffic and 85 jumping so he's going to be your go up and get it guy as well as demarius thomas's too um, like I said, this whole receiving core is only around 8.6k, so they're definitely very, very good. Um, I would, there's, it's, you know, you could choose your starters. Like I'm sure some people would argue that they want to put Sammy Watkins uh, up here by Demarius Thomas or put him in the slot, and you guys could do that. You guys can definitely do that. They just all have to be vert, and I think that these are probably your best vert receivers. Um, by a mile, actually, I don't think anyone even compares. But I, I, I would probably put Amari Cooper over for Sammy Watkins, but. Uh, what's nice is Sammy Watkins, uh, Floyd, and Demarius Thomas all are very, very good run blockers. So if you're trying to run to any of their sides, I would first I'd pick Floyd, then Watkins, then Demarius Thomas are very, very good run blockers. They're actually better run blockers than Jordan Reed. Um, but that's the whole offense. So you got to keep in mind we got a full offensive line with three backups, two tight ends. Uh, we got a full receiving core, all five receivers. Um, we got a fullback, we got quarterback, and a backup quarterback. Actually, if you want to take a backup quarterback, you could. I'd probably pick Andy Dalton and Derek Carr, just in case. You know, Derek Carr is a pretty good backup, I would say. Um, and then your three running backs. And then you also got a decent kick returner in Sammy Watkins. Um, and you got your third down running back. So with all these players, you know, basically a full roster, to be honest, you're only going to be spending around 31 k for this full offense. And that's very, very manageable. That's super easy just to do solo challenges. And there's a chance that you could even pull these cards in solo challenges because these are all fairly common cards, except for Tevin Coleman, obviously, and uh, Max Strong. Um, and Ozzy Newsome. But these cards are very easy to obtain. You know, they're very plentiful, very cheap. You could build this whole offense for, uh, you know, under 50K, around 31K is what everything is going for a Mudhead. And there's a chance that you guys still have some of the stuff on your binder. But this is a great, great budget team. Like I said, I'm going to go over it, do the defense. Um, and you got two chems here, which is great. So I'm going to go over it and do the defense for this team and make another video for that. And then maybe I'll play some games. It just depends on what you guys want me to do. So be sure to let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this if you guys did definitely give a like comment subscribe follow me on twitter it's going to be down in the description below and as always guys peace